there is a better, faster, cheaper, and more compatible way to run Llama on your computer. And this way only requires four gigabytes of RAM and it doesn't require a GPU. So you could technically run this on a smartphone. So let me show you first how good it is. And uh, we're gonna use a custom prompt here um, that looks like the training data that this model was trained on, which should give us better responses. So if you're having uh, problems with not very good responses, then try this prompt here. Um, and I'll put this in the description. So let's try something difficult. Now, this model is significantly smaller than ChatGPT. Right now we're using the 7 billion parameter model and uh, a little later in the video we're going to be comparing it with the 13 billion parameter model and um, in the future I don't have the RAM for it but theoretically people will be able to run the 65 billion parameter model which I believe it only requires actually uh, like 36 gig uh, gigabytes of, of RAM so if you have uh, over, I mean, if you have over 35 gigabytes of RAM, then you can run the um, 65 billion parameter model of Llama, which should theoretically be even better than ChatGPT. That is over the scope of this video, though. Uh, if you would like a tutorial on how to do that, then I can show that in the future. I may touch on it a little bit here um, and give you some basic steps on how you can do that but let's try it out so basically um, let's try doing a, write a simple Python script for a discord bot so let's try that this may not be the right prompt maybe maybe we'd want to start it with the first lines of the Python script so far actually it looks like it's doing really good it even is putting comments in, client, yep, that's perfect. And this is with the 7 billion parameter model. Look how quickly this is running on the CPU. Let me uh, show you in task manager. This is running on the CPU. It's only using four gigs and it's only using, it's using less than 20% of my CPU. Okay, we haven't completely lost it. It's still writing code. It has a little bit more comments than I would have imagined, but this is the 7 billion parameter model. So let me show you how to run this and then we're going to compare it with the 13 billion parameter model. The first thing you want to do is go to uh, this GitHub repository. It's the first link in the description and then uh, go and click on releases and then scroll down and then depending on what operating system you're on you will uh, click win for windows and mac for mac os so we're on windows um, but if you're on a different operating system it should be nearly identical um, in how to run this so after you download that zip file unpack it and uh, put it somewhere where that has um, at least four gigabytes of space so then now you'll want to go to that unpacked uh, folder, click the empty space up here, type CMD, press enter, and then copy this curl command. Uh, and if this one doesn't work, you can try this one or this one, or you can use a torrent and uh, use it, uh, download it that way. So, um, but we're gonna use curl, so you can just right click and it'll paste that curl command in, and then you press enter and then it will download into this folder as long as you uh, followed the steps there. So now that we have the uh, 7 billion parameter uh, in there and I showed you how to do that, now let's try out the 13 billion parameter model. And the way we do that is, uh, well actually, the way that you run the 7 billion parameter model is you just type chat and that will run chat.exe and uh, load in the 7 billion parameter model. But we want to use the 13 billion now. So let's clear that. Let's do chat dash H and that will give you a list of commands. And I highly recommend if you're like a tinkerer to mess around with these settings and you can get uh, the kind of responses you want. 
Um, but for now, we're going to do chat and then we're going to do dash dash model. And then if you look here, the model name starts with GG. So let's do GG and then tab and then tab until we see, there we go, the 13 billion parameter model. So then we can just press enter and it will start to load in the 13 billion parameter model. Now we can check task manager and we can see how much RAM this is going to take up. It should use about eight gigs of memory. And uh, I'll be back in a second when this is done loading. By the way, the uh, faster hard drive you have the model stored on, the faster that this will load in. It's taken a while for me because I have it on an external hard drive that's connected with USB. But now it is just about done here. There we go. So now let's uh, put the same prompt in as we did before. I'm not sure if this is the exact same prompt because I don't remember but uh, it was something like this. So let's see how it reacts to that. So yeah, this is using eight gigs and uh, let's see, it's picked up to 9.6% of CPU, 15% now. It uses almost the same uh, amount of CPU, just a little bit more than the seven billion parameter model. So far, so good. Uh, we're, oh, okay, it's done. That's weird. Uh, so the 13 billion parameter model actually just did worse. How is that possible? Write Python script for a Discord bot. Remember to write the entirety of the script. Let's try that. This is obviously not as good as ChatGPT. It requires more finesse but this runs locally on my computer and i don't need internet access and if i was savvy enough i could train this on my own computer okay so it did a random print hello this doesn't look like a discord bot i mean it's writing code so that's good but uh doesn't look like a discord bot Honestly, I'd say just stick with the 7 billion parameter model and uh, enjoy the faster speed and lower RAM usage because this, is, uh, this isn't even as good. Um, I'm sure that the 13 billion parameter model is better when it comes to other things. And um, I said, I think I mentioned earlier about running the bigger models. There's a 30 billion parameter model and there's a 65 billion parameter model. And uh, I'm not going to cover that entirely in this video, but I will tell you a little bit of how you could do that. And um, how you would do that is you would need the original llama models of the 30 billion or the 65 billion parameter model. Then you would need to go to this repository, which is llama.c++ which is actually uh, alpaca.c++ is actually forked from. And so if we scroll down here, we can see that he has some instructions for converting the original models and uh, converting them to GGML format and then quantizing them, which will in the end give you the bin file. So if you have the original 30 or 65 billion parameter model, uh, you can download this repository and uh, run the models through those uh, Python files to get the bin models, the, the uh, GGML formatted models where you can use the Alpaca repository that we showed here in the beginning. So uh, if you have any questions, I highly recommend you join the Discord server. That is where um, me and other people will uh, be able to respond to you quicker. Um, and there we can send you know screenshots. And um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and hit subscribe. And hopefully I'll have some other great videos. I have some stuff planned that you won't want to miss. So thanks for watching and have a good day.